Leach rips through Surrey to take five. Somerset are now virtually guaranteed to finish top of the group. Only a defeat could scupper that, and with more than 400 on the board and Surrey's innings still in its infancy, the side from the West Country looked like they're strolling into Division 1. Stoneman and Burns didn't seem to care too much though. They'd reached 24 unbeaten at the end of day two and wasted little time putting on a 50-run partnership. They looked settled, the score continuing to push towards 100 as the session wore on, both men finding the boundary, Somerset radars a little off so far. Burns took advantage, 50 runs scored off 109 balls, the half century reached with a single off Van der Merwe. He could go no further, out to Van der Merwe with no change to the score, a first breakthrough for the visitors. Lunch was taken and over later, the score 99 for 1, but the game was yet to spring into life on day 3. Stoneman took them to 100 runs and then followed Burns to 50, his coming off 123 balls, 10 of which found the ropes. He made it as far as 67 when Leach had his first wicket, Davis with a neat take behind the stumps. And there was another for the spinner, Amla handing him a simple catch. Patel and Smith ticked Surrey over to 150 runs, Somerset though had found a little more to interest them. The host denied them more wickets, the duo playing within themselves of the session headed towards T. But the approach couldn't preserve their partnership. Smith, another for Leach before T. Surrey heading into the break at 178 for four. Ashwin gave Leach his fourth, out to the first ball after the break. Surrey stumbling now. And the spinner soon had a five for Patel, his fifth victim, caught by Conway, an impressive showing from the England twirler. It was left to the Clarks, Jordan and Ricky to tick Surrey over to 200 and hold off the Somerset attack. The visitors would have found out during the interval that their qualification had been sealed already, but they showed no lack of effort for it. Surrey were taking their time, edging towards 250 and the partnership up to 42 when Somerset had them six down. Jordan the Clark to depart, caught by Hildreth of Van der Merwe. Overton fell before the close of the day, bowled for Van der Merwe's third and the umpires took them off with the fall of his wicket. Surrey needed 40 more runs to avoid the follow-on, trailing by 190. Should they manage that, the draw looks inevitable with just a day left to play. But quick wickets for Somerset could make it interesting. They're through, but they'll want to sign off on a high.